Thomas Jefferson was one of the writers of the Declaration of Independence. In the Declaration of Independence, it states that all men are created equal. All men are created equal. Stephen Berry wrote a book called The Jefferson Keys, and this piece of paper is a copy of one of the pages um, from that book. In this book, it says that Thomas Jefferson wrote a cipher, and this cipher contains nine rows, and here would be in those nine rows, those nine columns of that cipher that is mentioned in the book that supposedly Thomas Jefferson wrote. We're going to take the first line, and I'm going to see if I can decode this. I mean, I, I did decode it. I sat down. It took me less than five minutes to decode this cipher. So if the cipher is something real, um, if it's something true, I'll tell you what I got out of it. The first column, you'll see the letters F-E-E-T, that means feet, which means marching. The second row contains the letters J F K. That would be J, that would be F, and down here would be the letter K. So we have JFK, which means John Fitzgerald Kennedy. The next row we have the letters T S Y O L. I'll take the S, the Y, the T, the O. I know that the letter L is the twelfth letter of the alphabet. Backwards, the number twelve becomes the number twenty one. And the twenty first letter of the alphabet is U. And if we turn that U upside down, it becomes the letter N. So then that would give us the letters S, Y, T, O, N. The next line on the document, which is here, means nothing. The next line on the document, which is here, means nothing. The next line on the document, which is here, means nothing. But these four letters here on the document, O, P, P, O, have meaning. We're going to take the O, P, P, O, and we're going to add it to the S, Y, T, O, N, and you have the word opposition. The next line in the cipher, which is here, I'm sorry, the next line in the cipher, which is here, we have the letters M, L, K. That means Martin Luther King. The next line in the cipher we have is here. And we have the letters P, R, I, S, O, and N. And that spells prison. So what we have is we have the word prison. We have Martin Luther King. We have the word opposition. We have 
John Fitzgerald Kennedy, and we have the word marching. All that refers to is the civil rights. And the civil rights movement was created to prove that all men are created equal. This is prophecy. This is self-evident from the line from the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident, which all that means is we believe this prophecy to be true. So Jefferson's cipher, Jefferson's code, was prophecy. And it was prophesizing that all men are created equal, and it would be proven by marching John Fitzgerald Kennedy, opposition, Martin Luther King in prison. Martin Luther King led the civil rights movement. He faced opposition, and they marched. He was put into prison, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy was president at the time, who had a um, big role um, in the civil rights movement also. So Martin Luther King Jr. and John Fitzgerald Kennedy were both killed so that the prophecy, all men are created equal, would not become self-evident.